right, you guys, welcome back to New Era Sports Podcast. Make sure you hit that subscription button, subscribe to the channel, click on that bell so that you'll be notified whenever we put up an upload. And without further ado, you know we got to get into it. We're going to talk about Kyle Kuzma and Jordan Poole and how good would this duel be? You know, are these two guys that could be future all-stars for the Washington uh, Wizards? We know that Wizards pretty much uh, decided to part ways with a lot of key players on their team, mainly Bradley Beal has been with the team forever and collected a lot of money with the Washington Wizards. He finally decided to uh, hit that trade clause on his contract, and he he decided uh, that he wanted to go to the Phoenix Suns. So now he'll be teaming up with Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, and the rest of those guys, and DeAndre Ayton, and the rest of those guys with the Phoenix Suns. So we're going to see what Bradley Beal does with uh, the Phoenix Suns this season. And then also uh, Chris Top Porzingis ended up parting ways with the Washington Wizards as well in the offseason. And then we didn't really know what Kyle Kuzma was going to do now. I know Chris Top he ended up getting traded to the Boston Celtics, which is a great place for him to go to to be able to be matched up with Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Um, definitely, man, I know that it's going to be a big loss defensively with Marcus Smart going over to the Grizzlies. But I think that that Boston team will still be a good team. Now, what's going to be interesting is how Cal Kuzma and um, Jordan Poole play together. This is going to be interesting because we're talking about two guys that averaged 20 points last season. I think Cal Kuzma averaged, what, 20, 21, 21 points a game. And um, Jordan Poole averaged 20 points a game. And both of these guys are young and they're going to be given the green light to do whatever. They're going to be giving the green light. Kyle Kuzma just signed a huge deal in the offseason, over 100 mil. And rightfully so, if you're Kyle Kuzma, you've been waiting for this. You've been waiting for your opportunity to get a big contract. You don't, you never know when you're going to get the opportunity to get a big contract. A lot of people probably thought that Kyle Kuzma was going to go to, to another team at free agency. I know that the Rockets and maybe the Lakers and some other teams were probably thinking that they would probably grab Kyle Kuzma. But he did. I think he did the right thing for himself. He already has a championship. Jordan Poole already has an NBA championship. So those two guys already know what it takes to win. You got two young guys on the same team that knows what it takes to win an NBA championship. Now, the biggest thing is, will these two guys be able to coexist together? And, will, and what type of uh, tandem would they be? Now, when you look at both guys, both of these guys are naturally scorers. You know, that's the one area that they're going to have to get better in, and that's, that's, that's being good defensively. You can put up all the numbers. You can score 40, 50, 60, 70 points, whatever. But if you can't stop anybody, it's going to be a long season for the Washington Wizards. So I'm expecting for Kyle Kuzma to pick it up on the defensive end, and I'm expecting for Jordan Poole to get a little bit better on the defensive end. But I think collectively, I think that both of these guys will probably average around close to about 25 points a game. I think that Kyle Kuzma is capable of average, averaging 25, 7, and, and maybe 3 assists a game or something like that. And then Jordan Poole, who will probably be the shooting guard. I don't know if they're going to give him the keys to be the point guard, but he'll probably end up being the shooting guard. And Jordan Poole can average even more. You know what I'm saying? Jordan Poole could be one of those guys that average 28 to 29 points a game if he wanted to. So both of these guys can get buckets, man. Him and Kuzma, I think it's going to be a good young tandem for Washington. They decided to go in a different direction, but it's going to be uh, the season is not probably going to go like they expected. They're going to have to get some more talent around these two guys because it's, it's, you're not going to be able to get past the Boston Celtics and the Hawks and uh, the Sixers and the Bucks and all these other teams with the team that they have right now. So ultimately, at the end of the day, I think that Kyle Kuzma and Jordan Poole will be fine. And both of these guys will make their way on the team to be in um, efficient scores. But you want to get, you want to see these two guys get better on the defensive side of the ball. That's what I'm looking for this season. I want to see Kyle Kuzma get better defensively, and I want to see Jordan Poole get better defensively. I know that these guys can shake and bake and put up numbers and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, you want to see a team get better, and you want to see them get better at the defensive end of the ball. So we'll see what Kyle Kuzma and Jordan Poole look like this year. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back to you soon with another video. I'm out of here. Till next time, peace.